Hi guys, it's Shama Mom here. And if you watched my introductional video to um, this series, you would already know that I'm doing a work from home transcription um, job series, so how to apply, and basically just doing a really quick overview on how to get in there and put your application in and take your test for these companies and stuff. So please watch the introduction video if you haven't seen it. I get into a few things really quickly of why you need to apply for a bunch of different companies and get your applications in there. So watch that, guys. But this particular video is about Accutran Global Transcription Specialist. Um, the website is www.accutranglobal.com. I will have it in the comment section down below. So you can easily click on that and follow along if you want. Um, when you get to the website, it um, will take you to this and it says about us, hire us. You'll scan down past that and you'll see work with us. You'll just click on this and it just gives you a little bit of a insight on that. And it's telling you that you have a choice to work either for US dollars or Canadian dollars and it's telling you here in purple that they have a need for Canadian dollar transcriber slash transcriber editor contractors. Um, like I said in the introduction video guys, if you see something that says we're not hiring right now, do not get discouraged and not apply. Transcription work is usually part time. You want as many applications in there as you can. You might not get hired now, but your application will be in when they're looking, and they'll pick yours before they pick someone, obviously, who has not applied yet. So um, when you click on U.S. Dollar Contractors, it's going to have you download a document, and that is this document, which I'm at the bottom here, so let's just scan up. So um, this document here is basically just an introduction to the company. This is probably one of the better documents I've ever seen. It really goes uh, into a lot of detail about your pay, um, about um, what they expect for you, what kind of um, company they are. Um, as you can see here, it says what we do, what do we transcribe, I mean, and they tell you, you know, it's financial, um, conference calls, um, sector conference, presentations, interviews, analysis day meetings, different stuff like that. So you'll be doing a lot of different conference calls and stuff like that, which I like. I really like those kind of transcriptions. They're fairly easy. You will be doing a lot of Googling search. So um, as you work on a bigger document, you'll get used to stuff quickly. But at first, you'll be Googling, trying to figure out what what they're talking about and also get to get spellings correct on uh, the document. They're um, also going into qualities of a successful candidate. They're telling you what they're looking for and um, it's pretty much the same. They want you to have a good understanding of grammar. They don't want you to screw up words like it's and it's. Um, they want you to have good listening skills and know how to spell good. Um, then they have this section here that says make sure you read over this before you apply. Um, and they're telling you here, we do not offer full-time work. Again, guys, that's why it's important to have a bunch of different applications in. So I know it sounds like a lot that I'm going over 20 different companies, but you'll see why when you start getting a little bit work here and there and you'll have full-time work in the end because you're, you have some something to choose from. Um, it tells you, you know, how you are responsible for your own taxes, all the normal, typical stuff. Um, it's telling you how you get paid once a month. All companies are different. Some pay weekly, daily, monthly. It just depends on the company. It's telling you what program you'll want to transcribe in, which is basic Windows programs. I don't use um, Microsoft Word. I use LibreOffice which is a free one. Um, it's telling you, I've never seen a company tell you like their peak times, which I think this is great. They tell you when they usually have work. Um, they tell you what they're looking for. 
for the transcription position. They tell you um, when work is available from. They recommend that you buy a foot pedal. Guys, secretly, I haven't ever had a foot pedal, and I've been doing this for a numerous amount of years. And honestly, if I had to use a foot pedal, it would probably mess me up because I have no clue how to even use one. I think I used one a long time ago in school, but I really honestly couldn't even tell you. Um, it goes into your pay, which a lot of companies don't tell you that until you're hired. So I think that's kind of cool that they fill you in on that part. They also get bonuses. Um, your pay starts out at a certain rate, but it does go up. Uh, they expect you guys to type 70 words a minute here in this one. So this might be a good one to put in your pocket and save for another time if you're brand new at this. Um, which is what I did, you know, I even applied at some places um, that wanted a certain minimum and, you know, failed and came back and tried again later and got the job. So don't give up on these companies. Save them. I have a little file on my desktop where I stick all these companies that maybe is not right for me now that I can come back to later. They tell you about your internet. No dial-up, of course, if anybody even has that anymore, but... They want you to have pretty decent internet. And then this just gets into the different jobs that they have available. The positions. There's others besides transcribing. And the compensation, the time frame they want you to work during. And then they tell you how to become part of the organization. It just kind of tells you what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take a typing seat, a typing, excuse me, guys. You're going to have to take a high, a high typing speed. Oh my goodness, I can't even say that. Peter Piper. That you're going to have to take a high typing speed test. Um, they want you to have good English skills, and um, you need to know how to search on the internet for stuff. You need to be able to um, strike a balance between quality and speed, meaning you need to be fast, but you also need to, you know, have quality work. So you can't just zoom through this and not check your work. They want you to, to have good work, too. And then down here, it'll have a link. If you decide that you're ready to go ahead and go jump in and put in your application. Um, if not, you can just save this for another time and apply it another time. But if you decide that you want to apply, when you click on this, it's going to have you download another document. And then it's going to bring you to this document, basically. This is um, the directions to follow to take all your tests and everything. They want you to take a typing speed test. They want you to um, take a, trans um, a transcription test. You're going to have to download some audio. They're going to want you to take some tests on grammar and different things. And once you do, they're going to want you to um, email it to the company email down here at the bottom. I'm not going to go over this sheet a lot, guys, because this is just basically um, the tests and stuff. So you'll want to read over this really good anyways. There's no sense in me giving a jump start on this. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like me, um, join me, whatever. I'm going to have a ton more videos, guys. I'm going to try to get all these out. It's summer. I have a lot more time on my hands. Um, I got a really good response from other transcription uh, posts I put up, so I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm really good about getting back to questions, guys, and sometimes they spark new ideas for another video.